Yeah. Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, and I'm joined today by Isabella McCauley, a very special guest, um, a very accomplished golfer here in the state of Minnesota. Uh, very much a pleasure to have her with us today. So, Isabella, uh, thank you for joining today. We're going to walk through the clubs in your bag today, but first, I kind of want to let you introduce yourself to the viewers, who you are. Uh, I know a lot of the people in Minnesota might already know a little bit about, about you, but uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, everybody. thank you so much for having me, Drew. Um, my name is Isabella McCauley. I'm from Invergrove Heights, Minnesota. I'm a freshman at the University of Minnesota. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to be with you all today. We're going to talk a little about, bit about what's in the bag. And yeah, let's get to it. Awesome. Yeah, so Isabella actually is a, in a very accomplished golfer. You uh, played in the U.S. Open. I did. And you've had a lot of other very... Uh, solid wins in your mm -hmm. career as a golfer yeah. and of course had a really good season already here um, at the University of Minnesota. So um, with that said, uh, I think your perspective on what's in your bag and getting fit and all those things uh, carry some weight I think for players maybe start tr striving to achieve the level that you're at. So uh, top of the bag, driver. Yeah, um, we got sure. that fancy US women's <laughs> open head cover on there. So oh, yeah. uh, what's the driver you got in the bag? So driver I got in the bag is actually a TSI-3. Um, okay. I've had it for about a year and I love it. Um, I've actually had Titleist Woods probably for about like four years now okay. and I love them. Um, so actually it's kind of funny, I have a TSI-3 driver, TS-3-3 wood and a TS-2 Seven wood, so kind of different. Oh, okay. um, they've done different things, but sticking with the Titleist, I love them. Um, I think I find them very forgiving, and I really like the classic look of it. Um, it's just got a really good look when I'm standing up, down at the ball, and I've just always really liked Titleist. Nice. So, yeah. And and one thing too, I want to touch on that. I think we always try to um, a point we always try to drive home is especially for you know girls or women's golfers out there um, that the shaft that they play or the clubs that they mm -hmm. play. You don't just walk into the store right to the women's section and grab clubs. Right. Um, and so, like, I imagine you probably aren't playing women's flex or ladies flex uh, shafts in your right. clubs either. Yeah, no. So, I mean, a lot of sometimes what a lot of people don't know is there's a couple of different types of shafts. There's, I mean, there's junior clubs, there's women's shafts, there's regular mm -hmm. men's, there's stiff shafts. So, it just really depends on your swing speed. I actually play like a regular men's shaft. Mm -hmm. Um, but I know women who've played like stiff shafts and so it's just it's very dependent on just your swing speed and kind of the level of golfer you are but it is that is one of the reasons it's kind of important to get fit and um, kind of talk with someone who's, who's an expert on it because a lot of people just don't know and it's really really helps um, mm -hmm. your golf game your score and it's actually a huge part of like the club that you're playing right right so we've got TSI 3 driver TS3 yes, three wood yep. and a TS two seven wood. Yep. So by the way, seven woods have become <laughs> super popular. Uh, I think our fitters are fitting more and more of those mm -hmm. in the bag. You Absolutely. know, high launch, easy to hit off the ground. Let's go over to the hybrids now. What do yeah. we got for hybrids? I see a couple in the bag. There. Yeah, so these are just your uh, TSI two hybrids. Um, I've had them for, they're actually a couple of years old now, but they're, they're kind of trusty. Yeah. I've been with them a while. Um, yeah, and I have actually, I have a four and a five, my five iron is actually in hybrid form. Okay. Um, I kind of have a little bit of a lower ball flight, so um, mm. my fitter, he was kind of like, you know, it probably didn't make sense to go with an iron on that yeah. one, and I find them very forgiving. I kind of, I, I even, I hit them into greens too often because I'm, I'm kind of a shorter hitter off the tee, but um, no, I find them very forgiving and I've always really, really liked them. Nice. Yeah. So it has the TSI 2, uh, mm -hmm. 4, and 5 hybrid. Is that, what, yes, is that right? Yes, Yep, okay. 4 and 5. Nice. So you're kind of, so really you have basically, what is that, 5 clubs mm -hmm. before you get to the iron set. Yep. So another yep. maybe lesson for golfers out there is, you know, 3 irons, 4 irons, even 5 irons becoming a thing of the past because yeah. clubs like hybrids or 7 woods even can launch that ball a little bit higher. And I think you're seeing that in your game. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's a lot of people out there who, have like it's kind of a little bit of a myth that you always need to be hitting irons until like your three wood or something mm -hmm. I, th I find I mean it really depends on the golfer for sure and your swing speed but um, I think I find hybrids to work just as well and I find them a lot more forgiving too so I've always really liked them it depends a lot on your personal swing speed and your mm -hmm. ball flight and everything but yeah I think it's it's definitely an up-and-coming thing and I, mm -hmm. a lot of people like it for sure for sure uh, let's get into the irons now. Mm -hmm, uh, I see a brand that is not Titleist down there for the first time. <laughs> first time, yeah. So uh, for my irons, I have TaylorMade P790s. I've been with them for probably like four or five years again. And I have really liked them. I actually got fit last year again for a new iron set. We were like, okay, we're going to try a bunch of different new stuff. And I actually ended up back with the new P790s. Yeah. Just got a brand new set of those because I just love them so much. They work really well. 
it's actually a distance iron, which mm -hmm. helps me, so they tend to go a little bit further. Um, I actually find them like still pretty forgiving for being a distance iron, and also just it's not quite like blade style or anything, but it's right. also just like a kind of a good in between be mm -hmm. um, from like a pretty a, too forgiving of, of a club, like yeah. too big, and then like a blade. So yeah. it's a very good in mix in between, and I've just really liked them. They, I, I love the sound off the club face and just kind of feel of it. So been with it for a while, and I, I don't plan on changing it up anytime right. soon. Right, no, <laughs> and then like you said, you come in and get fit thinking you're yeah. gonna get a whole new set. For sure. And you wind up with the same club. Yeah. Uh, so I think that also shows, you know, uh, you know the, the idea for a fitting. Sometimes people think I gotta get these new clubs, I wanna buy all these brand new clubs, spend this yeah. money. Sometimes it's, you might just need a tweak to your lie angle. Maybe you need a different loft in your clubs or whatever, because you came back with the same set. No, exactly. Uh, my, my fitter, Aaron, he he's does a great job. And one of the things, I actually came in about a month or so ago, and I was like, oh, maybe I need a new club here and there. And he's like, no, 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 we just need to change some lofts, do a couple of tweaking, and we're, we're good to go. And so <laughs> he, he does a really good job with not always like, forcing me to buy the best technology or anything by any means. And so he just, he's always just like, oh, here, you know, he's giving the, me the best recommendations yeah. of how to become the best golfer. And if that means tweaking a lie angle, then that's what we do. Sure, sure. So down now into the wedges. Yeah. Uh, so short game, very important, obviously, as yeah, we know. Yeah, for so, sure. Uh, what wedges do we have and what lofts do we have too? Yeah, so for my wedges, first of all, wedges are like my very, like my most, I love that. That's my favorite part of the game. <laughs> I just love it. So I have a um, 54 and a 58 degree Vokey wedge. Um, I pretty much use my 58 for 60 yards in all yeah. around the greens. It's kind of different. Um, a lot of people like to use different clubs mm -hmm. around the greens. I've always used my 58, so I've just learned to hit different shots with it. It's definitely like my favorite club in the bag. Um, I will get like a new one, two, like pretty much two new ones a year because yeah. I just use it so much. I right. love it. Um, but yeah, I've kind of just learned to hit high shots with it, low shots with it. It does a really good job with just the spin. It's the new version, so it's the SM9. And um, it just, I've just really liked it a lot. Like mm -hmm. with the spin, the feel of it, the bounce, everything has just right. been really great. Right, yeah, a lot of versatility, especially with that grind. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, you're, uh, with those wedges, you're, I like that you say that, because I'm the person also that uses the same club from yeah. a certain number and in, no matter what shot it is. So that makes me feel a little bit better, because <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, or it seems like other people will use the different yes. lofts around. And um, mm -hmm. I am that person using the same wedge throughout, so. Uh, that's comforting for me, I guess. <laughs> uh, down to the, the flat stick then. Mm -hmm, uh, absolutely. So the putter in your bag, and I think you mentioned before we started filming, it's kind of an old putter. It is, so it's about like 20 years old. It's a Scotty Cameron, and it's like one of the older versions. I'll take it out for you guys. Um, so this is just, yeah, it's definitely like one of the oldest versions mm, yeah. there is, and it's kind of, it shows that by some of the wear, but um, it actually was my dad's putter, like, 20 years ago and then I started using it when I was 11 so seven years ago and I actually tried changing it up um, and went to a mallet once at one point and yeah. it did did not last like the, the Scotty came back in the bag so um, it's just been really good for me I think I'm an arc putter a little bit so the yeah. blade works really well and then I'm just kind of um, I'm a big believer in the fact that it's not really the putter that's the problem. Yeah. It typically would be my putting stroke, but it's worked really well for me. Um, I love putting, and mm -hmm. I would say it's probably one of the strengths of my game, and I've just always used that putter, and I love yeah. it. I'll, I also imagine some of it, too, is you've looked at this design, that club mm -hmm. head, for yeah. how many years now as you, <laughs> yep. as you putt. So you probably, if you change something up or... It better be a really good putter and exactly. help you a ton if you're going to switch into a different putter absolutely. based on using that one for so long. No, absolutely. Yeah, I think it's come to a point where just I've I've used it for so long I don't plan on changing it up anytime soon and um, it's just it's worked really well. I love the Scotty Cameron mm -hmm. feel and all of the pr their putters are really good. I've even tried some of the newer versions and if I was to change it up, those yeah. putters are really great as well. Yeah. Oh, Scotty definitely is one of the best in the business yeah. in terms of designing golf clubs. But yeah. um, I think we've wrapped it up here, Isabella. For so sure. uh, thank you for joining today. Mm -hmm. Golfers, clearly you can tell the importance that someone like Isabella places on club fitting, making sure that each club in their bag is designed specifically for, well, in her case, her swing or her putting stroke. So make sure you do the same with your game. Schedule a fitting a second swing like Isabella has over the years. Get your game dialed in and all of your equipment fit for your swing and you'll be shooting some lower scores. So once again, Isabella, thank you for joining. A really good and fun inside look at the clubs in your bag here. Thank you so much for having me, Drew.